Is it your first interview? Finger cross, don't worry. Let's crack the interview together. I am Pramod Bosle, working in TCS for Digital Profile since two years. Over a period of time, I have observed that there are certain mistakes that most of the students make during a time of interview. And because of this, most of their interview performance gets degraded. Don't worry. In this video, I am going to tell you the four mistakes that we need to avoid during a time of interview. And believe me that these small four changes will create a huge difference on the interviewer. So I highly recommend you to watch this video till end so that you can get base out of it. Just in case if you are new to the channel, do subscribe the random error for more such informative videos. Now without any further delay, let's proceed. Mistake number one, not maintaining eye contact. During a time of interview, most of the students are afraid because they are not much confident enough. And this totally affects their body language, which certainly creates some degradation in your interview performance. Don't worry. Let me tell you how to maintain the eye contact in both online as well as offline interview. Online interview. Maintaining eye contact in the online interview seems difficult to the most of the students. But what if I tell you that maintaining eye contact in the online interview is a lot more easier than maintaining eye contact in offline interview. So here are the tips for you. Tip number one, whenever you are trying to give any answer to the question, make sure that your both the eyes are looking exactly into the camera. This will create a kind of illusion that every single person sitting in the meeting will feel like you are looking exactly to them. Make sure that you not to look at the screen at any moment when you are trying to speak. Because normally what happens is when you are trying to speak something and you are looking at the screen, the interviewer or the front person will feel like you are looking down. So make sure that during the time of giving answer, your both the eyes should be be exactly into the camera. Tip number two, whenever the interviewer is speaking or whenever the interviewer is asking you the question, make sure that you are looking on the screen and at the same time, make sure you are nodding your head. This will create a kind of illusion to the interviewer that you are listening to them actively and you are confident enough. So this was the two necessary things that we need to keep in mind whenever it comes to the online interview. Offline interview. Things become something different when it comes to the offline interview since you will be sitting in front of panel. But don't worry, let me tell you that how to maintain your eye contact in the offline interview. We know that during a time of offline interview, there is a high probability that more than two or three people will be sitting in front of you. So we need to make sure that we are trying to interact with all the people sitting in front of you rather than just interacting with a single person in the panel. So here are the tips that you need to do when you are sitting for the offline interview. Tip number one, whenever you are sitting in front of the panel and when you are giving the answer, make sure that you are trying to maintain the eye contact with every single person sitting in front of you. Now say for example, there are three people sitting in front of you maintain the eye contact with every single person for three seconds right say for example one person is sitting to the right of you in the middle and the left of you so maintain three second eye contact to this person three second of eye contact with middle person and the three seconds of eye contact with the left person this will give a kind of illusion to every single person sitting in front of you that you are trying to interact with everyone rather than interacting with a single person tip number two when you are done with giving answer make sure that you are keeping your both the hands on the thighs rather than keeping on the table because when you keep your hands on the table, it simply feels like you are looking tense rather than looking confident enough. So these were the two necessary things that we need to keep in mind when it comes to offline interview. Mistake number two, not giving answers properly. Over a period of time, I have realized one thing that whatever the answer we give to the question, based on it, our the next question is determined. For example, if the interviewer asks me, what do you mean by variable? And if I give them an answer as variable is nothing but it is a name given to a memory location. Now immediately, the interviewer will ask me the question, what do you mean by memory? memory then because in my answer I have used the word called as memory but what if I give the answer like variable is nothing but it is a container which is capable of holding values in it now for sure that interviewer cannot ask me the question what do you mean by container so make sure that whenever you are giving answer to any question you should have enough presence of mind so that we can avoid the next difficult question but these things mainly comes during a time of confidence and when you are thoroughly prepared with so make sure that whatever you are studying and preparing you are good enough and confident enough so that we can use enough presence of mind to avoid the next difficult question. Mistake number three, not maintaining proper body language. During a time of interview, boys mainly keep their hands on the table whereas girls like to sit cross legs. This sign mainly showcases that you are looking tense which is very bad at the beginning of the interview. Don't worry, let me tell you how to maintain the proper body gestures. Here are the tip for you. Tip number one, whenever you are giving the answers, make sure that you are having the hand movements. Don't just sit idle and give the answers like a dead man. Whenever you are giving the 
answer make sure that you are having the hands around the chest level when you are speaking once you are done with giving the answer make sure that you keep both of your hands on the thighs rather than keeping it on the table tip number 2 whenever you are sitting for the interview boys make sure that you are sitting straight and confident enough and for the girls make sure that you please avoid the cross leg sitting position believe me that this opens the way to showcase that you are looking confident enough and the cool enough so these are the mistakes that we need to avoid during the interview i hope this video has made some sense and added some values so that you can crack your first interview without any hesitation so just in case if you are new to the runtime error do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos